Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Sayyid Ali Mardan and welcome to my channel. In this lecture, we will briefly discuss spherical coordinates and then we will learn how we can evaluate pupil integral in spherical coordinates. Spherical coordinate represents a point P in space by the order triplets rho, phi and theta in which rho is the distance of the point from the origin. Here, this is rho. Phi is the angle OP makes with positive z-axis. This is phi here. And theta is the angle from cylindrical coordinates whose values are lying between 0 to 2 pi. Now, the these are the equations through which we can interchange from spherical coordinate system to Cartesian coordinate system. And in triple integrals, we will always use a small differential volume dv as rho square sine square phi d rho d phi d theta. So after this brief introduction of spherical coordinates, I am moving towards the question, question number 22. Exercise from exercise 15.7, Thomas Calculus, 12th edition book. The statement of question is, we have to evaluate the spherical integral. In this spherical integral, our most inner variable is rho, our central variable is phi, and our outer variable is theta. Please note that in spherical coordinate system, this order is fixed. We will always perform integration with respect to rho first, and then on the outcomes of integration with respect to rho, we will, pre we will perform integration with respect to phi. And then on the outcomes of integration with respect to phi, we will perform integration with respect to theta. So it is an iterative process and it is fixed. Now the limits of rho are 0 to 2, limits of phi, phi are 0 to pi by 4, and limits of theta are 0 to 2 pi. So in order to integrate this function, first of all, we will simplify the function. Rho scan rho will be multiplied and it becomes rho cube. And Sine of phi, cos of phi are constant with respect to rho. We can take it outside from the most inner integral. So we have limit from 0 to 2 pi, limit from 0 to pi by 4, sine phi, cos phi, limit from 0 to 2, rho cube, d rho, d phi, d theta. So in order to integrate rho cube, we will use this formula. So we have integration of rho cube as rho 4 over 4. In the next step, we will apply limits by using fundamental theorem of calculus, upper limit minus lower limit, making the simplifications. I can take four outside, uh, so I am left with sine phi cos phi. Now, up till here, I have completed the process of integration with respect to rho. Next, I will perform the process of integration with respect to phi. Now, in order to integrate sine phi cos phi, we have to use this formula. And what is this formula? If there is a function with some power, and the derivative of function is available as a multiplier in the integrand in the process of integration then the integration is carried out as we will add one in the power of function divide with the same so here the derivative of sine is cos available here so its integration will be sine square phi over 2 for the given limit 0 to pi by 4 in the next step applying the limits upper limit minus lower limit for upper limit we have replaced phi with pi by 4 and for lower limit we have replaced phi with 0 and in this step, I have taken two outside, so it become two here. Now, sine pi by four whole square is one by two. Minus sine of zero whole square is zero. You can easily calculate from your calculator. Sine 45 whole square and sine zero whole square. So after this, I can take this one by two outside. It will be canceled out with this two. So I have uh, integration of d theta for the limit zero to two pi, and it becomes 2 pi minus 0, and our answer is 2 pi. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and share this content with your friends. Allah Hafiz.